Hey guys, Gamsi here, and welcome back to Transport Fever. In the previous episode, we upgraded our milk trains and milk trucks. We created the double station here. We connected it all the way to the food line and delivered the food from Pickering to Hillsam. So if you look at Hillsam right now, we should get 300, okay, 61% food. Still a bit, little bit of improvement left there. Now there is a bottleneck in there and we'll try to fix that this episode and if we still have time we'll also try and create another freight line here so i created this station already last episode if you guys remembered the freight station would uh, hope to deliver the con mats so we're uh, creating con mats here we're producing con mats in this plant we have a truck line that green line there is that green yeah vaguely that green line which is let me see are you earning anything yeah i think that works which is uh, bringing the con mats to the city of farnham and what we can do is from farnham can deliver that onwards to the next city which is uh, williston and maybe we can make a ship to a ship line to bring that via water to Hailsham and then from Hailsham can be delivered via truck to Pickering and from Pickering take the food deliver that as well via ship so it's like a back and forth thing so all the lines that are affected there the ship carrying the con mats will be able to carry the the food back the trucks carrying food here will be able to carry con mats back the train which will take the con mats from Farnham to Williston will be taking uh, okay that might not work because it will be taking con mats one way and it probably can't take food the other because it would require different wagons hmm we'll see how that would work one step at a time and then the trucks carrying the con mats to Farnham can carry food back here and then from here can take that to sandwich and to toaster toaster yeah almost forgot how you pronounce it yeah so that's the plan that's a long-term plan first and foremost though we are going to improve this because right now there's 363 milk waiting and we only have 84 capacity for each train times two it's 160 and it's not going at a very good pace so if you look here if you look at the supply we're only producing 672 and we are out of milk yeah we have potential of 2100 you require two milk for one food so you have 1100 demand and you have around 2200 um, demand for milk one one is the demand for food so it's two is to one or one is to two depending on how you looked at it let's pay off the loans first though three million left for sure we'll be needing to loan again after january but for now let's speed up the game yeah that will run out we need maybe a third train I was thinking of a third train and then we could I think they will still fit we'll try if that will cause some lag if that causes some delays then that means we only have space for two trains in this line I created a couple of signals back then so we can have more parallel trains but I think I need some more let's make a station a signal rather right here and also one on the opposite side that one right so that's a, a bit more even I think that should be okay the length shouldn't be that bad right so January hits and then it's time and it's a new compartment car it's cool maybe we can make use of that later on for now though it would be best if we can make one exactly like what we have currently the trains here are Russians I believe vehicles Go and take a look at that. It's one Prussian, uh, Prussian G3. It's this one. What if we upgrade? Oh, that's only 40 km per hour limit. It's double the price. Attractive effort is just a bit more, but the power is a lot stronger. So it might be, accel be able to accelerate faster, but in terms of attractive effort, which is what we need in this bit, in this road, in this track, because it's of the high elevation need more pulling power it's not that good 
So let's stick to the Prussian. And then we'll need how many wagons? 12 wagons. Okay. Alright, we'll need to borrow some money again. But that's fine. Let's just need to spend money to earn money. Okay. And then 10 wagons. 12 rather. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the right one, right? Yes. Set you on the milk line and let's return the money that we didn't use. Good. Alright, so let's fast forward. So we still have 300 plus waiting in the milk line. Uh, after this guy leaves though, should be able to have the next train drop in. Yeah. And then the next train is arriving though. I'm not sure if that will cause a bit of delay. We'll see. Okay, this guy is fully loaded. He's leaving. Alright, yeah, it looks like this train will have to stop here for a while, wait a little. Which would introduce a bit of delay. But we'll see moving forward if that causes any more holdups. Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, observe. And maybe we just need to make the trains longer. Maybe we only have space for two trains, but make the trains longer. Maybe that might work. We'll see though. Repay the loan. Okay. Why is this guy not carrying it? Okay, he's already loaded. Good. Okay, this time I don't think there's going to be any waiting happening. Yeah, this train leaves just as this one arrives. That's perfect. Three trains might be enough. It's good. Alright, so we have some load. We have 59 left. 50 milk and running out. I don't think it will be enough still. Yeah, still not enough. Closer though, closer. But yeah, look at that. We're still running out. Although, to be fair, still have a bit of food left there. And by the time that food runs out, then the milk will arrive. So that one is just like, that timing is hanging by a thread. Almost just enough. Good. So this one is running out again. Production is insane. Look at that. Yeah. We definitely were able to up the production from 600. Now it's 1,000. But from there, production should probably would probably go down, or maybe not. Let's see. Running out of food, and then the next one arrives to bring some milk. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Production is slowly increasing. The next one, then. Okay, that seems to be fair. That seems to be working just fine. It's still not the best. I think we can still afford to make this more. Let's see, one more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and just like that, the next one arrives. Minimal downtime. So production is indeed increasing. And maybe we will reach the limit pretty soon. I'm pretty happy with that. The waiting milk, it's also starting to ramp down. Previously, if you remember, it was like 350. Now it's only 200 plus. So this double line is indeed in working out. Yeah, it seems like they're pretty much set. And you guys told me what I can do to alternate them is to reverse reverse. Like if two, tr if two trucks or carriages are like this, they are, maybe we can do that experiment, huh? Like we can do, so this one is carrying uh, cranes and they are what I want to do is each truck should be alternating like that one one truck would be docking at this station the next truck behind him would be docking at this next station and that would like split the load and reduce any downtime totally but yeah I don't think there's much downtime there is like a minimal downtime right there you see So what you guys told me was it could work if you could maybe like reverse it twice. Reverse, reverse. Is that the one? Then is that going to work? You should now work on the other side. Or maybe I did that wrong, I don't know. Let's see, let's observe this. So this one. Okay, reverse. Um, reverse, reverse, 
this is the guy that we're looking at. I don't think it worked. It didn't work. <laughs> I might be doing something wrong there. Anyway, let's pay off the loans. Five million left. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that build up. Okay, we are definitely producing more. But we need to ship more as well in order for this to work. So we need more trucks on this line. We need... Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maybe to start with. And then let's uh, upgrade from there. Yeah, that escalated quickly. And then when that... So the, the, the flow will cascade. You increase the flow going here. Then you need to increase the flow delivering that to the city. And need to increase the flow delivering that to other cities and so on and so forth so, so it's all cascading pay off that loan and let's observe if this hundred plus will go down with additional wagons additional trucks that we created check how that works lots of people in this factory you know what let me make a uh, let me make a an experiment, all right? Let me just, while we're waiting for that, because this is super cheap anyway. Let me make a small station. Too much curvature. Actually, that's going to be expensive. Let's just, let just add the stop here. Maybe add the stop here at the, the corner, like that. And uh, make a line from the last station in here, like maybe from Pickering, this one. So maybe add a line from, hmm, let me see, let me see. Where is the center of the city? Let's add one right here. Yeah. So there, going to this place. Yeah, so you guys told me that people who are working in the city might need to get something. Like, if they're from the city and they're going to the plant to work, maybe it will help if they have a bus to take them there. But I'm not sure how much the demand for that will be, so let's maybe have, like, uh, stake, like, I don't know, three buses. Try it with this experimental lane. And see how that looks like. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. Yeah, that should work. Maybe we can even add some stops here. Yeah, maybe we can add the stop right here. Right there. Yes, in this line, we can add one more stop in the middle. Like the second stop could be this one, right? Yeah, that could work. That could work. All right, let's see if anyone will utilize that. The frequency is 4 minutes, it's not very good. Let's maybe add some more. 1, 2, 3. Alright. Frequency is now 115 seconds. Alright, let's see if that will yield anything. Alright, in here we are... Okay, the, the build-up has indeed gone down from 100 to 60. I guess we could do with some more trucks though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Good. Increase the truck line. And in here, is there a build up here? Not so much. Actually, which is interesting. Alright, but that's good. Alright, here what happened. Uh, upgrade. Alright, it went down. I think I need more carriages in this line, huh? Yeah, I might. Do I have enough grain? No, I do not. Yeah. Alright, let's add some here. How much is uh, built up? Let's add 8. I think 8 trucks is amounting to like 60 consumption. So if you have like 60 built up, then 8 trucks would probably take care of that. I knew such stopped. Crap. Right, that's fine. The build up here has indeed gone down so much. That's perfect. And in here, there you go. This guy is scheduled for upgrade. 
That's perfect. We have a lot of food left over, actually. We might be overdoing this, but that should be okay pretty soon. Because... Okay, yeah. There's the food here is starting to build up. You have to step that up as well. So, let's add also... How many trucks here? One, two... Okay, we don't have enough money. One sec. Give it a bit of time for the trains to come in, the trucks to deliver, and bring us back to positive. There we go. That was quick. One, two, three, four. Let's bring that to food pickering hillsome. And then one more batch. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Good. Right. That's definitely escalating quickly. <laughs> Everything seems to be ramping up, which is good for us, which is good for us. Now the boat line is still just breaking even. Finance-wise, it's starting to lose money now. Interesting. Maybe we should increase the frequency again. Yeah, we could, because right now the frequency is 11 minutes. Let's try to add one ship. Is it this one passenger? Yeah. Not enough money, of course. Let's wait for a little. Just a little bit more. Good. Deploy that here. So from 11 minutes, it's down to 8 minutes. Okay. That would hopefully make it more attractive for the people to ride. Because, I mean, what would be their alternative, right? Right, so while we're waiting for more money to pour in, let's try and optimize the lines here. Farnham to Williston, it's this line. It's starting to build up. I think it's time to upgrade this train. Right now, it only can carry 32 people. And uh, there's 48 waiting. Yeah, I think we can afford one more. We can actually upgrade this. Have like one more wagon. Or even two more. That should work pretty well. Let me have a look at the available locos. Make it, maybe we can make this into a like a pioneer line. A line which would hold the new West trains. In terms of speed, that one would be the best, the Baldwin class 56. But in terms of speed, going up to 60, is that worth it? Like this guy is barely able to make it fast as possible. Let's see. Yeah, it is slowly accelerating. Power rating is mediocre. He is able to reach top speed along halfway through. So he is able to make use of that. So making it faster and more powerful should yield to a better throughput. But not sure if it will be worth the money. Wait a minute. Let's pay off the loan before January hits. So we pay less interest than usual at least so right now interest would be 52.5k okay that's not too bad that's not too bad right so let's continue our window shopping 687k 60 kilometers per hour any other contenders no that's the fastest one we have i could do that but I think I'd rather upgrade the ones in the main line there, which is traveling, lilling, traveling longer. For this, I think the Prussian would be enough, like or the Borsig rather. Yeah, this line, the Borsig should be enough. So what we can do is add one more wagon in there, maybe? Or add a whole new train with five wagons, and then we can upgrade the next train. I think that's how we can do it. Let's see. Waiting people 78, waiting people here 52. Yeah, we can definitely add one more wagon and one more train. So come in February, that's good. Let's borrow money and build a train. Wait one sec. Let me replace this guy with a Porsig and five wagons. Is there anything else? There was a new compartment car. It can go up to 60 kilometers per hour. 
this one can only can go up to 80 but we don't even have a local which can go up to 80 so that's really not going to be maximized and uh, with Borsig we can only go up, to go up to 45 so this 50 km per hour car should be more than enough 5 replace now pay 356k good so from 4 making that 5 wagons and then adding a whole new one 1 2 3 4 5 perfect you deploy as well and we pay off the loans actually stop I just remembered this is actually just a single line that is not going to work we'll have to upgrade this as well first for anything else make this double track and everything oh I didn't bring that road back which shouldn't be a big deal no one works here anyway in this quarry this shouldn't be expensive because we've already built one track it then here we just say from here you branch out like so and you connect perfect and then we just build the signals signal here before merging and then we put signals periodically like just trying to get a feel for the distance trying to make them as even as possible of course that's just like a touch and go thing yeah i wish there was like a a means of making this really even although yeah i, I remember there is a track that is i saw a mod that uh, you build a track and it automatically comes with a uh, what do you call it signals when you build the tracks this actually sounds very good um, and then I guess we can do with one more right here so many signals which means this track is all ready for shared passengers and freight maybe because we made it so high quality high high capacity we need that build the road back mm, this is not good but that works and then that works beautiful everybody happy good and then we can pay off the loans okay that wasn't too expensive thing is this guy is in the wrong line so our train is probably going to wait until he corrects himself that's fine that's fine or can we make it faster we can make a temporary track in here just a quick one okay maybe not normally that should be possible there we go so correct yourself good there we go and the other one should be able to go now right yes there you go so we make it a bit parallel at least let's remove that again don't really need that Now, the bad thing about this is we don't make them like end to end. Like they're both on this side of the track. I would have preferred they were like alternating really. But will this train even need to stop? Yes, he will. That's fine. Alright. They should space themselves out anyway after a bit. So it shouldn't be that big a deal. So this train should upgrade 40 capacity. There we go. Upgraded. It's not full though. Just halfway full. But that should be fine. Good. Right, that's good. Some people here. Yeah, I think that's just perfect. Okay, good. Let's have a look again. Oh, what the heck happened here? Oh yeah, all right. We need a lot more, okay. We need a lot more trucks on this line. Um, let's see. Let me actually do something. Let me make their lives easier. Let's add a medium street. Okay, don't have money. Okay, that doesn't work. Why not? 
I want to make life easier for you guys. I think I'll have to destroy that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that one works. It's 270k though. What I want to do is build a line, a road from here so that they won't have to go through the city. Like right now, they're going through the main road. But I guess it's not that big a deal. Yeah, let's, let's leave that for now. Let's just add horses. More horses, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, not enough money. How about now? Just a bit more. There we go. Assign you to this line. That should reduce the backlog over here. Yeah, we don't have backlog over here. Oh crap, I think these guys are causing a slowdown for my for my horses. Now there is there are a few passengers here. But that parallel thing is not going to work. Yeah, let me show you. That one is causing them to slow down. So I'll need to make a parallel line again. Just to uh, have them go separate ways. That's not even earning money. Yeah, I don't think that works. Let's sell that. Although it is nice, a nice experiment. It's uh, it's useful. It's 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 nice of us to have a form of transportation to bring people here to this plant. It's just not enough people going there to warrant something that is profitable. So it's not as uh, maximizable. Okay, in here, no more build up. That's perfect. Here, here, yeah, no more waiting. Good. Okay, good. And in here, yeah, we need to really fix that. Good. How are the trains? Hopefully you're earning. Actually, no. We're worse off than before. Hmm. Let's have a look at the finances. Yeah, finances went up, but the profits didn't. Although, if you look now, there are 24 people waiting, so that means it's a full... Wait a minute. This ship can take 50? Okay, I, my, my bad. I thought it can only take 22. Alright, so that's not full at all. It's halfway. Okay, let's observe. Hopefully that will fix itself. Is this people wanting to go to Pickering? This one we can improve, I guess. But I'd rather pay off my loans first, though. Yeah, let's pay off the loans. Slowly. Yeah, Alright, the build-up is starting to go down. Looks to be perfect, and this line I, I really like. So the freight is totally separate from the buses. They have different top speeds, so they're not hindering each other. I like that. I like this highway thingy. <laughs> Good. All right, there you go. No more buildup. Perfect. In here, also no more buildup. And actually, huh, interesting. Oh yeah, look at that. But potential for food went down to 472 because probably the station here got full, and so the line got cut off to Nelson. But that should be back in a bit. Okay. So now that we have that set. Sandwich to Farnham. That's this one. Do we need another train in there? I think we might because the train just left and there's the 62 waiting. We could do an, an additional train in there, I think. Or make it faster, upgrade the entire line. That might be more exciting, actually. Let me just do a quick comparison one sec. If I look at the station here, if I compare what we have, the Borsig versus the Baldwin, stronger, much more powerful, attractive effort is intense, so I think we can lessen the trains, but increase the wagons. That will not be very good for frequency though, what's happening here. So many people waiting in the toaster line. Add a few. Toaster line, not the circle one. Toaster is earning money. Yeah. I 
actually even the circle line has people waiting. Send a few more there too. Are you even? No, the circle line has one more. That's fine. Okay, repay the loan. Could be that. Perfect. Alright, that looks good. Are you full? Yes, you are. Perfect. And you? Perfect as well. Full and full. Yeah, the sandwich farm can definitely use an additional train. Additional train or additional <clears throat> upgrades. Right now we have, on that orange line, we have three trains with five wagons each. We can convert that into three trains with... Hmm, it might be too expensive though. Maybe two trains with, I don't know, ten wagons each. That might work better. But the frequency would probably be worse if we make it just two trains. Not so sure. Right now there's 64. We can just add one train and be happy. But eventually we'll need to upgrade. Or will we? Maybe not really, huh? Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, this guy is full speed all the way. And with that kind of long track, having a very high speed train on this line would be perfect. You know what? Let's do that. Let's experiment. I can start with the freight though. We could either upgrade the, the passenger line or we could work on the freight. I think I'd rather work on the freight though because it would be a lot more uh, profitable, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. So for now, the freight... Yeah, this one can just increase in demand as much as it can. And then when it's really high in demand, like double or triple the current rate, we can then um, improve the buses. But right now, I don't think we need it. Sorry, I, I saw a lot of people. I was wondering where that's coming from. It was from the passengers. The passenger station, train station. Right, so this freight station, we can merge into this line and they can probably squeeze themselves and share the line i just have to make sure that the trains that we're going to place here would have like 45 kilometer speed limit as well so they don't wait on each other so much yes i think that should be okay now is this train earning this train is earning 149k okay good move that's very good although if you look there, it might have been too much to add a whole new train in there. Yeah, that, that will ramp up eventually. Right, so let's connect to this line. Mm, maybe after the signal could work pretty well. Let me see. Wow, I'm actually out of money. I could do that one way but if I try to connect to this side first okay that can work right and then I can trace this that way connect to this place yeah that's exactly what we can do and connect here I guess Yeah, that should be fine. Right there. So in terms of signals, we need a signal leaving from here to the main road. I like how that signal adjusts like so. And we need a signal on this side when it crosses that way to go. Yeah, we have a signal here though. That should be enough, I think. Or we can move the signal forward here. Yeah, we will be blocking the road, but I guess it's not that big a deal. I mean, they can wait. If needed. Wow. I like the horn in that one. Nice. Okay, good. So now we should be able to... So we can connect to this one. We will have to branch out though. We'll have to make a new station in here. 
so we can add a second street connection to this place that's good or no yeah yeah we really need that and then we can add a freight station as well and i'm planning for a freight station here because right now we're just going to be dropping off stuff so we don't really need a freight station but later on when we bring the food from the other side of the world here we'll need something to pilot so we will definitely need this one as well second street connection I mean, go with 160 okay we go with 160 for now but i will try to improve that oh this doesn't work has to be this one okay that one works well i don't really need a second street connection for that i can just go like this right yeah that would also enable me to make a depot yeah i connect it to this place and also maybe we can share a depot actually is that possible Might be too bad, might be too far away though. I think I tried this before already, it was too too abrupt. Let me try and build the track first for it, connecting it. Yeah, it's not going to be possible. Okay, I'll just make a new one then. I'll make a new depot. This bumper as depot thing, yeah. And then, somewhere here, we should branch out connecting to this station, this line. I guess we could work like that, right? Wow, didn't even see the cost there. That seemed expensive. What the heck is that? The Mogul. And we have like a high-end passenger ship, which I'm sure will not be profitable, will be even less profitable. You know, the only time I think I earned money from ships was when I had the hoverboat. Because they were very fast. 260 Mogul. Let's have a look. Window shopping. The Mogul is this one. Can go up to 75 kilometers per hour. Wow. It's much more expensive than the Baldwin class 56 though. But it's state of the art. Yeah. Longer lifespan as well. That might be very good. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, for this train though, if we want to bring in the food, they have to land here somehow. And if we... The food from this line is here. Stops are... We have one and two. We have... This is the only stop they're doing. What we can do is add another stop. They just drop off stuff. So this station should be in catchment of that train station yeah it is lighting up that's perfect that means this line could actually stop as well ah uh, wait a minute where was it oh i have two same colored lines that way that's why it was so confusing we need a truck line add a third stop which is going there um okay that didn't work out quite well Station 2 is the avenue. Station 3 is uh, this one. Stations will be added. Wh what's happening? Could not connect all stations. Why not? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it this? Is it that way? I can drop off to bus, bus stops, but not to bus stations. That might be. Alright, so if we look... If we, here that is still in catchment of this station that's actually this is perfect the city grow and connected to this side of the station you see it's very nice so actually this stop is also in catchment and so what we can do is we can add a stop which goes just there okay that works yeah that works perfectly Although I don't really want to cause any traffic there, so maybe let's just make a bus stop somewhere out here. Um, you know what? Let's just make a station. It's going to take longer though. Yeah, it's... Can you connect there? Can they cross that? They might be able to cross there, huh? But only when there's no train for sure. Because I was thinking... Could maybe connect 
the roads here so that it goes to the highway immediately. That might be faster. And uh, prone to less traffic because they will be out of the city. Um, let me see. If I can add a road coming from here to there, it's going to be 180k. Make that a country road, it's going to be 127k. Make that cheaper. There you go, that's 88, 85. How about that? Does that work? So they go through there, they go through here, and go back the other way. Will they use that? Yes, they will. Okay, good. So it's this is on the way now. So that means we should be able to put a bus stop right here. So they can, they can drop off their goods. And then we can say, don't need to stop at Stanley Road. You should stop instead at this street, High Street. Yes. So just go and drop off your things here, there. And then drop off your things here. And you should be good to go. Although, now that I think about it, I think I'd prefer this to be a freight station because moving forward, we will be dropping food here as well and they should be able to pick that up. And the only way they'll be able to pick that up is if there is a valid train station here like this one. Or maybe on this side of the, the city. Like that. Or if it's... Hmm. I can also connect them here. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this one. Okay, that's pretty cheap. And so they will not only unload, they can also load later on. Like that. Yes? Good. That's future proofing right there. Alright, so in terms of con mats, we should be getting con mats on this station. At least we should be able to. That is once we build the train. Alright, the dairy farm is full again. Rip. The milk production went all bananas, I think. <laughs> and look at that. 160 here, 130 there. But not enough milk in there. So, yeah, the milk production just went bananas, I think. It's just adjusting. Let's just leave that be. Not much build up in here. That's good. Although there's still 80. Production on this side is 1168. That's good. I think we need more trucks in here. Yeah, definitely. Let's add uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That one. Right? Please reduce that backlog and let me build in peace. Good. Alright, good. Let's create a train now. Now, what kind of train will we need? We will need a very cheap one. Um, in terms of slope, this will be a bit elevated, So, but that's not really that high, and this will be relatively flat. So we don't need a train that's too powerful. We need the one with decent tractive effort so that they can at least haul their goods, but doesn't need to be like a monster like this one. Hmm. <clears throat> How about this one? 65. How about a Prussian as well? We can maybe work with that. The Prussian G3. It would be best if it can go 45 kilometers per hour. But this, the Borsig is just too weak. 20 kilonewtons. Look at that. This is only 60. Yeah, let's, let's look here from the latter parts. 65. Yeah, let's go with this one. The Prussian is, I think, a perfect fit. Okay, let's get the Prussian. And right now, let's just buy how many wagons. So right now, all we need are con mats. I don't think we'll get... I don't think we'll be lucky to get a wagon which has con mats and food in the same type. Yeah. Look at that commercial auto. I want to build that. Cars and a commercial auto. Where do you build those? Can carry seven, can carry four... Oh, definitely this one. Two, three. Just three for now. Or four. Okay, four. Fine. Okay, not enough money. Alright, so th that's it then. Create a new line from here to 
there. Good. So that connects the freight. Then what we need is to connect this to the industrial area because right now there is absolutely no catchment in here. So what we can do is just drop off stuff, I guess, here. Let's see. In terms of bus stops, if we do that, that one basically touches everything. That's actually perfect. Let's go and drop off there. And let's also make a station. Hmm, I wonder where we can build the station. We can build the station here, maybe. In terms of water, we do cut it off there. But if we can elevate this bridge, we might be able to make this waterworks thing work. Like this. This might be actually very scenic. Oh, I have to destroy a house, though. Sorry. I have to protect the future. Uh, future proofing it. Okay, that works. If we increase it, press M. There you go. That works. And it's not that high. Okay, that's good. Um, what kind of railings do we want? That one is actually pretty nice. Yeah, good. So that one is uh, navigable in waters now. So what we can easily do is we can create a second street connection here and connect the, the, the ship line here, the freight line for a freight cargo harbor, exactly, like so. that connect this via small roads and that is connected so that means we should be able to haul stuff from here Let's make the game work again hope you didn't okay the track is good the track is back so we should be able to send and receive goods from here Maybe we can put that station somewhere here. Okay, yeah, we don't have enough money. Right now we're just window shopping. I think what we can do is build it over here. Yeah, this one works. Just right beside this one. That's pretty, pretty scenic, I think. Now all we need is money. And uh, I'm not sure why the money is not pouring in. Bro, come on, just a little more. 202, okay, good. There you go. Let's add some roads in here. Connect this somewhere. That kind of works. It's not very nice to look at. Let's do it that way. And that way. Okay, don't even have money for that. <laughs> Negative 174k? What did I do? It must be the new line. The, the new line of train is not cooperating with me because it's not getting any coin mats yet so we're incurring all the, the the penalties there you go good all right so that is connected that's perfect now what we have to do is we have to build a freight station here like so which is connected to the ship so it can drop and receive stuff can we do it here? That's still in catchment. Yes, thank you. That's because that's way cheaper. Good. And uh, the truck line going to Pickering. It's actually stopping there, but we can actually stop. So High Street is this one, right? The third stop. Let's also stop on the way here. Good. So we can drop a food there if needed. Okay, that's good. And let's build a ship line. A ship would be... Let's see. This one is 20 kilometers per hour. It can take... Where is the capacity? 50. This one has 60. So the same speed. The same power. No, this is much more powerful. This is way cheaper though. So I'll take this one. Let's just buy one for now. Create a new line from here to there and connect the entire line. Yes, 
One train should be enough because that will trigger the production already. Hopefully. Now this one, all right, I'm expecting that we create con mats here. I'm expecting that the con mats, actually everything, all the demand would increase from 2364, 2416. I think that increased, didn't it? It might have. Yeah, it might have. Right, good. So from there, let's see. If you pick up con mats here, then you should be able to drop off con mats in the industrial zone, which is that encatchment. I think that's pretty good. Again, you, you can drop them off here too. It's, it's okay. Let's let's optimize it a bit first before we let's let's see how it works first before we optimize it. Yes. So we pay that. Okay, no, not much build up anymore. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, by the way, yes, I got a comment to just extend this line from this to here to the actual plant. That actually might be a good move, but we'll have to remodel this entire place like that one. I'm not sure how that will work with the uh, income though, because right now the milk trucks are earning us the most money 500k the train is only earning 300 so i'm not really sure i want to destroy that line because it's been so profitable but if it's the thing that will make us even more profitable then let's go ahead where's the ship is this the ship yeah that's the one So right now it's able to take two different kinds of goods, I think. Okay, that's perfect. Con mats? Do we have any con mat sightings? We have not. Oh, the food will not flow. Because we don't have a train which has a food wagon crap. You go back to the depot. Hey. Oh, go back to the depot. Hmm. Right. So, from here, we'll need to have a... Yeah, I'll have to think about it more. But yes, we can definitely improve this. Let's sell one for now and let's buy two food wagons. I think those are like box cars. Yeah, this one for food. One and two. And deploy you again. Let's say this is the line train freight. Uh, ship. <laughs> let's let's yeah that, that name should be more enough for now. Okay, right, let's see. Okay, so that should at least trigger the production of uh, food or trigger the, the demand flowing into this place. The only problem here is we have a ship arriving here. Now it is linked to this station, so it can deliver the food elsewhere. But um, if it goes through here, uh, yeah, and that is in catchment of a lot of commercial buildings, so that works pretty nicely. We can increase that even more, but we'll see how that goes later on. From this side though, it arrives here, the food arrives here. It's loaded directly here, but in this city, Williston, it's not getting anything because the commercial area is here. And that is not connected to this one. So if you want to increase the food uh, demand even more, we should build a line from here connecting to this place, I think. So what we need is a bus stop, a truck stop rather, that is in catchment of the harbor. And we should be, is that in catchment? Not really. Crap, that kind of sucks. Okay, that one is. That one is. So we'll just have to destroy a couple of houses though. 
That's 800k. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be expensive. If we build it here, then that will be way cheaper. That can actually work. But the problem with this is how the heck do we connect that to this bridge? Or do we just make a whole new bridge here? That can also work. If we build a whole new bridge in here, bring it up. That can work. It's going to be 200k. Too much slope though. That one works. Yeah, I think that's okay. A direct line going to the city. That actually might work, huh? 312 though, so it's still not going to be cheap. But if it's going to work, then fine. Right? This, the ship can still make its way through. And then we can build a truck stop here. Well, we were able to before. But now I don't think we can. <laughs> Alright, let's build it here then. Yeah, that should be fine. Facing here. Okay, delete that bit. So we can fit. There you go. So that's connected to this one. And now he can go and bring stuff in. That's perfect. So th the con mats can be delivered here this harbor so con mats coming from the plant there coming to Farnham car being carried by the, the freight station dropping off here and then being caught by both the harbor and this truck station and this from the truck station here can be delivered to the city so we just need a stop that covers both industrial and commercial so we can it can drop off both uh, food and con mats in this city Williston and I think if we look at the catchment... Wow, I'm at negative. Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, I think this should work pretty fine. Uh, let's see. The actual center of things, that one. Might be the best. Okay, can I get more money in? It seems like I made a mistake somewhere. And now I'm not earning as much money anymore. Because I, I haven't really paid any loans. I might be making a huge mistake somewhere. There you go. And then create a line from... Uh, the truck stop to that new stop. We stop that, that one. Which should be in catchment of all the commercial and industrial buildings. And then we can easily... Um, hmm. Where's the depot? Oh, the depot is there. Perfect. Add just one truck for now. Just to trigger the line. Yeah, increase the demand of con mats and food. Right? So this one would be the truck in Williston. This one would be the... How do we call it? Do we call it boat? Boat freight. Yes. The strange thing though is I still haven't been earning, well, I haven't gotten a single conmat in here, which is pretty weird. If I look at this line, you know what, let's change it, change it to red, it's easier to see that one. Okay, so you stop over there. Where there are a lot of con of industrial areas, but actually this one, if you're looking at industrial areas, what might be a better stop would be somewhere here, right? Right now Farnham is good with con mats, not perfect but good. That was in it. That one is in catchment of everything still. Okay, that's good. It's not too bad. Then it stops here, and it should drop off some stuff there as well, because this one is connected to this one. That's a freight station, so that should be able to pick up con mats. Um, in here, that's a freight station going here as well. Con mats are compatible with this, I think. Let me do a double check. Right. Con mats, yeah, that's good. 
and that should connect to this line and get delivered everywhere else in the city. So if I look at the potential here, that's still 2,448. I'm not sure why. Okay, wait a minute. Let me have a look at our lines. We're losing money on that ship, that boat line, that boat line. We're losing a bit of money on some bus lines. We're losing a lot of money on the freight line that we built. But everything else is earning. So we shouldn't be losing as much money. Hmm. Okay. Let me see. Alright, this is not working as well as I planned. Um, what we need here is to double this up. I think they are getting in traffic with each other. So what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we did for milk, which was very effective. We will double this one. Is that good? Is it to each catchment here? Okay, this one may be better. Right? And then let's add the stops. Uh, where was it? The Conmats line. We add that Grange Road. Drop off there. Bring back here. And then drop off stuff there. And then go back here again. Yeah? So double everything. And then what we do is we say... Um, so how do we simulate that? So this truck is going this way. So this one should be going to the other one. Let's say if that works. That one. So you should be going to the other one. Oh, that's actually effective. Yeah, that was effective. So let's do that alternatingly. This one goes to this main one. This one goes to the other side, right? Okay, the other one goes to the main one. That actually works. Good tip. Thank you. Reverse that. Now they're evening out. That's beautiful. This one should go there. This one should go here. Doesn't seem like we have enough wagons though. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Now everyone's going here. How do I know where it's going? Sandwich halt. Okay. You... No, 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 no. Oh, that's too late. Okay, sandwich halt or north? Okay, this is halt, this is north. This one is going to halt as well. Flip you. Um, flip you again. Um, flip you again. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Everybody is going to halt now. Doesn't it work sometimes, but not always. That is still part of the line, right? Yes, that is. So if you look at the line here, that's stop one. Stop two is the Conmats line. Conmats station, going back to the city to drop off stuff. Going back to pick up another set of stone. Going back here, drop off Conmats, a stone and bring back Conmats and then drop off stuff here at the station again. Yeah, that works. That should work. Now everyone is going to this station. Can I just do that until... No, oh, it's... It's <laughs> it's not working. Yeah, it doesn't work every time. But hopefully they realize eventually and they even out. You pay the loans? We're down to 2 million loans. And I have been playing for over an hour. I'm really enjoying this game, guys. Hopefully you guys are still are as well. I'm really having fun here. Wow, look at that. That doesn't look good. We might have to split this as well. Let's split this too, just to be safe. Is that in catchment of the plant? Yes, it is. Good. And what we say is this line. Yeah, we're going to lose money for a bit because they're not. They got confused now. 
Uh, number five is upper sandwich. Let's add that. Let's remove upper sandwich. There you go. There you go. So it's even Steven. Hopefully that will make the line a bit more parallel. Reduce the weighting. Good. Dairy farm is in trouble again. Yeah. That shouldn't really be a problem unless the problem is with this one where we need more wagons, I guess. I guess we could handle more wagons in here. Let's do that. Let's add maybe eight more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Milk line. Good. That should help a bit, I hope. This train is full. This train will be full, almost. Everybody happy? Okay, we don't have enough stock. Okay, yeah, we need more milk. We need more milk. So we step up the production, the distribution of milk here. That should help a lot. Yes. Okay, I think that works pretty well. We could add more. But I'll observe it first. Let's observe first what those additional 8 trucks will do. Right? So, do we have anything yet? Um, we've... still haven't gotten anything. Wow. That's insane. This train has never brought anything. I must be missing something, guys. You let me know in the comments, right? Because this is supposedly an end-to-end -end line. The train can get to where it's going, so it's not about the route. There he is, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, wait a minute. Crap. This is going the wrong way. Why are you going through there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I Because I didn't connect here to the other side. Crap, my mistake. Yeah, that's a bad move. Um... Let's do that here. Connect like that. And merge back. Okay. Oh man, that's that's such a bad move. So here is where you should be going. And going back here should have uh, there. And this one should have something there, right? Yes, that one is not needed, I think. Yeah, because we, we were delaying the trains. Because this guy was occupying the entire lane going here. And look at that. I saw, I saw something. I saw something. This guy actually carried a single piece of corn mats. Okay, that triggered something. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now they should be waiting on each other wow look at that they actually raced against each other <laughs> okay good good so now no one is waiting for anybody this one is going 50 this is going 30 yeah that's good all right but that that works that works so we proved that we have triggered con mats there we go it's starting perfect and i'm not sure why it didn't before maybe that's just because we were out of stones in here but now I think we do have a lot. Or maybe it just needed a bit of time to make out the new supply chain. So that one has been brought by that single truck we have in Williston. And that should be triggering freight in here. Delivery there. Right? And this one should have these at least in catchment so we should be getting corn mats here too yeah i think so yeah this boat has some industries in catchment so it should at the very least take some corn mats into here and then the food the food should actually be brought here too because if we look at the line corn mats uh, no, 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 food. 
It's getting starting to be very confusing, huh? Conrad's uh, food gets dropped off here. That's in catchment here, so that should take the boat. And the boat is going all the way here. And it should link to not only the freight station, but also the truck station, so that should work actually. Yeah. So has my demand increased now? 29848. I think it did. I think it has. And has the food plant increased? It's limit 1468. I think just very little, huh? Yeah, we'll see later. We'll see next episode how we work on this. But we've linked the cities together. We just have to optimize it more. And uh, we'll see where, where we're missing. If you saw something that was wrongly made, let me know, right? Let me know how we can improve it. Okay, but yes, that's going to be it for now. Episode went longer than normal. Sorry about that, guys, but... Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. I definitely am looking forward to more Transport Fever episodes. I'm loving this game. It's just so timeless. Keeps your brain working and everything, right? Anyway, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Let's pay off that last bit of loan. One million left. Nice. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.